But the special you shot, where did you shoot? Because I think I saw a little we shot it, behind the scenes thing. We went, shot it in um, St. Pete, Tampa. Okay. It was oh, either going to be Boston or St. Pete. Because, you know, I never shot it. I shot one in New York, but I never shot one in my hometown. Sure. But Florida, during the pandemic, you yeah. know. They were, they were about that life. They're like, come on now. <laughs> Dude, they saved my life. <laughs> yeah, of course. My number one best friend, Mr. Mike Calta. I don't yeah, know if, of course I know. Yeah, he, I love yeah, you. Yeah. Um, he was like, he was like, dude, come down here. And all the clubs gave me love. And you could go down there. And there was, I mean, just sold out, packed yeah. up yeah. shows with like one person with a mask on. And it, it, it like helped me because I lost 55 shows. Oh, it was. Oh. In one night. Yeah. I remember my agent, Maddie Frost, called me up. He's like, dude, they're Frosty? all gone. Yeah. Yeah, you know Frosty. Of course. And uh, I, well, he was like, yeah, they're all gone. It was the first time in my career, you know, you work so hard. To, you know, I'm a club comic. Yeah. You know, um, I've done theater tours. I've done all that stuff. Yeah. But, you know, I make my bones at these clubs. Of course. And it was the first time I had a the Creeps with Kids tour that I started. <laughs> That's an amazing title. It was me, Ron Bennington. It was, oh. I'm, I, I mean, love Ron Bennington. He is not only one of the greatest, coolest cats in the business, he's also a hammer on stage. So oh, funny. Man. So Rich Voss, a legend. Yes. Um, and and Jim Florentine. All, so the oh. whole concept was we all have kids. We're all creeps. Yeah. But we're great dads. <laughs> yeah. We're so great parents, great. right? Yeah. And um, yeah, Ron Bennington's nuts because he would get a standing O. I had a close. So I had to follow his standing O every night. Yeah, look at how Jesus. great was that? That's yeah. a fun tour. I mean, that was a fun tour. We had a blast. We did a thing at the end where we all went up and Ron would talk about parenting and people from the crowd would ask us stuff. We brought our kids out. Oh. Like- we like Voss brought his girl out. I brought my kid out. Ron had his, uh, you know, of course, uh, his daughter out, who he does the show with. And this was yes. going like through 2020, like when this was, dude. We did. I talked to my agent. I go, I want to do this tour. He's like, I'll get you one show if it's successful. Great. We did one show, sold it out. Then he got us like 16 shows at theaters. It was like taken off. It was beautiful. Uh, plus, hanging with those guys. Yeah, it's the most fun. Being on the road by yourself is probably the most depressing thing totally. in the world. And when you're when you go walk in and there's no heavy lifting, you just go in do twenty fun. minutes. Yeah, it's great. And uh, we did it, and it was great. And then the stupid, you know, God hates me, and he released the <laughs> pandemic on everybody, and he doesn't want to make me in this life. God I don't get to me. go all the way. Yeah, yeah, maybe the next life. But uh, but so then Florida was your saving grace. Yeah, as soon as that happened, Florida saved. So we went there and we did it. And Louis is the best because, you know, I mean. Whatever the reason, I don't know the reason. I'd like to come up, but you know, whatever. The Netflix, all those people, no, we're good. Yeah. And even my last special, everybody said no. So me and uh, my manager, um, Jim um, Serpico, he was like, let's just do it ourselves. We did it, and then they bought it. It was great, but it was five years. I did a show at Louis somewhere, and he's like, do you have a special? I'm like, no. He's like, "You? why don't you have a special? I go, dude, I don't have a special. I can't. I don't, I know I have a kid, I have a house and blah, blah. I can't just go drop whatever yeah. and roll the dice on myself. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm like, hey, hon, let's take a mortgage out and see if it works. Sure. And then it doesn't. And then we're living in back in Boston and I'm getting the shit kicked out of me and the Somerville project. <laughs> the top of a hill. Yeah, yeah forget it. I gotta, I gotta start so, selling ass pussy in Somerville. So he took, he incurred the, the cost of it? He, he goes, I'm going to do it. Nice. He goes, I'm going to do it. Now, w the problem is- not the problem, but the thing that came up, he's like, what do you want to do it? I go, same, let's do it in Florida. Um, and then he goes, okay, great. Tell me what you want. And we were talking about it. I go, I don't want to do, I don't want to do a theater. I want to, I want to create this, like Elvis is 68 special, mm -hmm. you know, where he's doing all this stuff, but he was like, no, let's go in, make this 10 by 10 square. And you're going to, he's just going to come out and everywhere you look, there's people just, holy shit. Yeah. So that's what we like, you know, like, you know, when you go into a small room and you're just murdering. Oh, yeah. You know, like the the the, the laughs are just coming. So fun. That kill box of yes. a room. There's certain rooms that are like that. The cellar in, in, in uh, New York is a kill box. It's just, you feel like you feel better than you are when you yeah. come off there. Like, I'm fu I'm good. Yeah. Like, I'm, fu I'm really funny. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we created that thing. And then there was the option of just, you know. Doing it and making a lot of money, doing it for twelve grand, getting five cameras, hiring some local dude, get a comedy club for nothing, 
and just we'd make a ton of cash. And we had that conversation. I was like, I, I just want it to be special. I want it to be this. We came up with this concept. Let's see if we, and he was like, we're doing it. Great. So he gave all his money. I gave a little, little tiny bit because that, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. But uh, it was great. But it's weird. We sold it out in five minutes, two shows. Wow. Which I don't know. Do you, you ever get shocked at like, like when you sell, when you put something in, you're like, people really like me? Yeah. 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 Of course. Yeah. That's, yeah. I think, every comedian's inner dialogue. If you don't point. have that, I yeah. think yeah. you're a mental patient. I yeah. think so too. Right? Gosh. Yeah. Or if like, or if you really enjoy listening to yourself. Oh my God. Like, then you're like, this person's crazy. Yeah. Or, or <laughs> like, this editing your special. Nuts. There's nothing worse than like taking the notes and editing your special. Like, oh my God, like watching yourself. I, I watch five it. minutes of it and I call Walk out up, of the room. And I go, I got to, I, I can't. Barf. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, dude, this is, um, I, this is bad. I'm so, yeah, I almost yeah. apologize. Like, we should call this <laughs> off. Like, but, but it, yeah, he, he put it together and we, the coastal creatives is crazy. It's just an open space down there that lets you create whatever you want. Oh, that's yeah. cool. And they came in and they helped us do it and they they were unbelievable. So we did this thing. We get the whole the whole night, it's sold out, we're ready to go. I walk out on stage, 20 minutes in, I'm like, I'm doing it. Like you're in your head, I'm like, yeah. Yeah. dude, I'm doing it. Like I, you get that little thing where you kind of tell a joke and you take a sip and you, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. You're like, oh, this is happening. Yeah, yeah. And then I hear, help her. <gasps> I'm like, oh no. And then I help her, please. I'm like, what? I look, there's this lady. <gasps> and this, her husband's like, please help her, Bobby. And I'm like, what? I tell dick jokes. Like, uh, so I go, here's my water. Give him my water. And they shut the whole show down. Oh no. And um, I mean, lights come up, chairs on the stage. Uh, this poor lady. I'm like, oh my God. I, I, my heart She's is. having a seizure? I don't know. He, I'm like, is, I'm asking questions. Is she a diabetic? He's like, no, I don't know. And like, he's panicking because his wife. And then I step off stage. I'm just looking. I'm just looking at the stage from a distance. And I see all the fans and the lights are up and chairs on the stage. I went from just killing it to just mm. my eye, my eye hurted. I, I like started to hurt because I got an instant eye headache from the stress. Yeah. Oh. I'm like, it's over. Right. <laughs> you know, the first show of a taping when you're doing two is the one you're supposed to get. You get yeah. it and then you get, you know. Yeah. 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 And then you chill, go have yeah. fun, Bob. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. yeah. That's done. And then I see they're dragging this woman past Louie. No. And Louie's like, looks at her as soon as she's like an inch past him. He goes, we're good. <laughs> True comedian. <laughs> We're good. Yeah. We're good. So she's like out, like she's not our problem anymore. Yeah, yeah. We're good, man. Yeah. And I'm like, I, I got an eye headache. Like, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know how to reboot this. So I, you know, you're you gotta go up. You comic. You're like, yeah, I guess I'm really killing whatever you say. Yeah. yeah. I start. You know, I don't want to trash her. But she did just ruin my special because her blood sugar, whatever. <laughs> Take your pill, have some water, uh, walk. Yeah. <laughs> Do something, lady. Do something. Don't sit front row <sighs> if you're not healthy. God. But anyways, <sighs> she lived. Her husband <laughs> sent me a thing on TV. Oh, that's good. She lived. She yeah. did live. But I'm up there. I don't know if a woman just died and they replaced the people with new people. Oh, my so God. So my head's just like. It's, I'm shot. So I, I'm, you know, you're a cop, you know, yeah. your muscle yeah. memory, fuck, let's go. We yeah. do it. I walk off. I'm, I'm in my head. Yeah. And I clear the dressing room. My eyes hurting. Louis comes back, you know, Louis energy, you know, hey man, I, we got it. I think we got it. And I'm like, dude, I'm, I'm, I don't think we did. Uh, and he's like, nah, man, you were killing for 45 minutes or so. We, I'm like, it's an hour special, like in my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he wound up, he wound up going, listen, man, Martin Luther King once said, and he gave me some speech and that didn't work. And then he, he said, let me tell you something, John F. Kennedy, he gave, went to John F. Oh, Kennedy, wow. JFK, yeah. that didn't work. I swear to God, I'm still holding my head. Then he held up a Tom Brady inspirational video. That fucking worked. That worked? T TB. Dude, he, it was some, they didn't believe in me. Yeah, yeah. They didn't think I could do it. Yeah. I wasn't fast enough. Six round draft pick. Oh, dude. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, which one yeah, I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, I know what you're doing. Dude, that filled me yeah. with so much hope. Like, I was oh, like, I, I can do this. I stood up and we went out the next show and, and crushed it. And, um, 
you know, because the whole thing was, because I had a whole other thing I was working on about like food addiction. Yeah, he's like, I don't want that shit. I want just murder. I want you to just kill, like you're in a club for an hour. And that we got it. We did it. The next thank show I God. got it. That's awesome. And, uh, yeah, thank God. Well, dude. congratulations. Yes. It is always awesome to like have one, like that feeling when it, when you got it and it went well yeah. and, it's in, and it's, you know it's out. It's like, it's a great, it's a great accomplishment. It really is. People put them out a lot, but it doesn't diminish like how awesome it is to have a new special that you're proud. It sounds like, you know, you're proud of it. Like you should be. I am. And yeah. now you have to, everyone has to watch it to see what it was like for you to see if you're rattled or... You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, I like, would love to get that footage because we have the footage. There's, oh there's a couple God. things that happened. Like when I first walked out, they were like, Robert Kelly, Mike Calter, like introduced me, his band, his Tampa band. It's a bunch of chubby dudes. Yeah. You know, with like, <laughs> with, you know, with shirts with sayings yeah. and mm-hmm. true religion jeans, you yeah. know, big God. white seams going down. They're the best. <laughs> yeah. I love them. Just, wow, you ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Robert <laughs> Kelly. And then the camera comes down yeah. and this drunk blonde walks by. At that moment, she went oh, to the bathroom. She wanted to go shit. back to her seat. She went, sorry. And I was like, I want to murder her. I, I think we have that. That's you, fucking fantastic. You have to, I just went, Ugh. As I'm, that's my only. And Fuck. then I got on stage and my, I, I'm such, I'm fifth, I, I was 50 at the time. Yeah. I'm, I'm 51. I'm 52. I wore Nikes. Like I, I have to wear New Balance. <laughs> I have plantar fasciitis and I got a bad knee. Yeah. Plus back then I was, I, I was 350 or three what? something, right? So as soon as I get on stage, you know, like a Nike, Nike's like a flat, like a high heel. It's a man's high heel. Uh-huh. This little thin shoe with flat. It's just a, ugh. <laughs> My knee gives up. It pops out. So when I go on stage, I'm, huh? There's like all this stuff. And then this lady dies. <laughs> it was crazy. Ooh, mommy, did you enjoy that highlight? Why don't you have more fun? Click around. Click here. We're here. We're here. We're here. We're here. Look. Try it out. Have more fun. Why don't you subscribe? That way, every time a video drops, you can be notified. You're not going to miss a moment of denim, okay? Try it out. Be her.